Oh, you look well, Jez. Oh, so do you, Joe. You're in your little room. Yeah, thought I'd come in. It's a bit of a got a bit of tidying up to do, but yeah, it does. We were going to build some shelves in there, I think, once. Well, um, I've uh, I posed it to the uh, committee again that we get right. rid of, that we get rid of some of these chairs that are never used that are yeah. like so, and then you can actually build some proper shelving that you can yeah. put these into rather than just dumping it. And what were the reactions? Uh, yeah, good idea. So are we to go straight into this draw? Yeah, let's do it. We've got three months worth to do. The January 2024... There is four prizes, Joe. Is it really? A hundred pound, eighty pound, seventy pounds, and fifty pounds. Wow! So I, I've got the master sheet here open on my computer with all the names in numerical order. Lovely. Not a pick. And so, if you can find me a random generated number generator. To one to 177. Yep, for there. And if you can, bearing in mind there are some free numbers, so we just have to be mindful of that. But if you can spin it round and give me a number for the £100 for Jack. 121. 121. Yeah, that's Phil Haggerty. Oh, wonderful stuff. That's great. Well done. Yeah, a little, little bit of a delay there, Joe. Well done, Haggerty. Um, you won in May this year, well, May 23, which is not that long ago. So I do think there's a pint in it for me and you, Joe, next time we see him. Can I say? A pint of John Billy Lee's. Uh, so well done, Aggers. £100 coming your way. The next number, please, Joe, for £80. Oh, another big one, 141. Number 141. Well, this is bizarre because he won exactly the same month that Aggers won. Really? Both won in May. May 2023, is that a coincidence? Is it a fix? I don't know. <laughs> we'll let Matt Stanley have a think and see if we see what he can come up with. But it is bizarre, and that's Dean Barlow. Oh, really? Oh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, nice one. I must, yeah, yeah, I just need a caveat at the end of this draw for uh, for certain things. But, uh, yeah, another number, please, Joe, for £70. 76. Number 76. Well, he won. He last won in June twenty twenty two. He's a good lad. You, uh, he, he certainly helps you players out, and certainly helps stand out. It's Dave Waddington. Oh, that's wonderful! Yeah, that's great. Lovely also, stuff. Also known as Waddle, I believe. As Waddle, yeah. He's a he's a, a darts captain. Oh really? Where at? I feel I should know, but I don't. Because I ask him about his darts every single week. Plays on a Thursday. Is he a playing captain, or is he just like the on the on the sidelines? He is a playing captain, but as is quite telling with the work that he does at the club, he is quite benevolent and he lets other people play instead of himself. Right, I see. Players, I they need someone. I mean, he must be a half decent player if he's. Oh, okay. uh, in a, um, you know, Gav is quite a decent player. Yeah, Shields, he can play, can't he? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he says. He, we once had a competition and um, and I didn't have any darts and he had a spare pair. So he lent me, spare, not a pair, a set. Yeah. He lent, his, uh, he lent me a set of darts and he beat me like 3 0. And he said, You can have them darts, you know, just to practice if you want. So, oh, great, because I had a dartboard at home. And then I beat him two games right at the end and he took them off me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trick, that. Uh, is it true? They had to come buy some. The do you know a lot of that um, group? Gav, Joe Benaducci, Charlie—they're all really good at those kind of what our classes pub games. You know, because yeah, they were in the pub. Well, yeah, I mean that they ha you know they happen to be in a pub. They're not pub games, you know what I mean? But they they are in a pub, or you are know, they, Adam at Law House and stuff. They're good is at it a sport? Yeah, I think it's a sport. There's a lot of skill involved, I think, Jess. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you don't need trainers. You don't need to wear any training shoes. 
or boots? <laughs> no, 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 I guess not. But I think anyway, I guess, yeah, sorry. Next, next uh, number, this is for 50 pounds. We're high again. <laughs> One five two. One five two. That's Trudy Sharp. Trudy won oh, in uh, April 23. Oh, no. So well done, Trudy. Neil Sharp's missus and Joel Sharp's mum. And... So that's January. We'll do February's draw now, please, Joe. I must, what I'm, I have to do an official announcement now that okay. people, if they've, if they've stopped paying for whatever reason, um, I haven't checked these numbers through. So if there is a, a slight revision because okay. of, uh, you know, someone's decided that they don't want to, to be in the draw anymore, then, then we'd have to draw a separate number separately. But in the same vein, anyone who wants to be in the draw in the future, Please feel free to speak to myself or to Joe Martin or anyone else down the club. So, February, Joe, first prize is £100, please. One, one, four, seven. Now, these are all random, Jez. I'm not just, you know. Right. One, four, seven. That's John Key. John Key is... Can you remember Simon O'Driscoll? Vaguely. Mate of Max. He's, he lives in... I think he lives in Coventry down that way. All right, nice. He came and visited the club in probably 2003 ish, and he got forced to join the 100 club and he's the <laughs> Laura Stroll, and he's been in ever since. So, well done, Joe. I don't know if you listen to this, but well done. 100 pound coming your way. Next number, please, Joe, for 80. 72. 72. You do need to get these numbers a little bit smaller if you can, yeah, Joe. Well, yeah. Look at the draw. Look at the draw mines down there. He just in Stockdale. No idea. You've no idea. Oh, Joe, he's an ex lower house wicketkeeper. Oh, really? Yeah, good cricketer, good player. Um, he's moved down somewhere south now. Uh, lovely lad. He was up last year or the year before with his family. Having what? a look around, he, he was. I think he was Matt's year at school. And played in the first team, played a couple of first team games as a wicket keeper. Very yeah. decent. Map. When would he have so, played, Jez? 90s? Um, yeah, would he, yeah, well, yeah, maybe mid 90s onwards. Okay, nice. Went for all the juniors. Um, so then the next prize is for £70, please, Joe. 129. One, 129, thankfully, is a free number. Oh, so thank one, God. Draw that again, so spin them round again, please, Joe. 93. 93. Oh, 93, Pete Atherton. Oh, lovely. Be nice 70 quid for Peter. Peter in, in July 23. Everyone knows Peter at the Cricket Club. He's uh, been supporting Law House since... Well, since almost since it was invented, I think. <laughs> right, fifty pound last prize for the February. Our next one, Jeff, is a hundred and one. <laughs> Bloody hell, these are high. Hundred and one, Stuart Weirdo. Oh, Weirdo, lovely, nice. Fifty pound to Stuart Weirdo. Probably, I think it's fair to say you're the best scorer in the league. I would say so. Very, very good. Yeah, I would say so. They're all very committed. So thanks very much. Now we'll move on to the March draw, and then at least we are completely up to speed. And I'll hopefully not get as much stick as I've been getting. So the first one is a hundred pound, please. Number fifty-five, Jez. Matt Stansfield. Hey. Well, it might have been quiet for a few weeks, man, or a few months, quite well, years, hopefully. Is there a, are there two yeah, Sandfields? Like there's two Paul Sandfields. No. No, I was only, that's what I was thinking about when I was in it. Matt Stanfield. <laughs> he says he's never ever won, but he last won in January nineteen. So. Uh, I'm not going it. Five years. I know, but I'm not. With, he says I, I fiddle it, but it, it clearly isn't. So the next one is eighty pounds. Please, Joe, for another number. 
So the next number six. 56. That's Clive Spencer. Oh, brilliant. Lovely. I run past his house. Yes. Wave. Ex, ex, is he a bank manager or a librarian? Um, I think he bank works manager. for Building Society. So look at that. Matt Stansfield, 55. Clive Spencer, 56. Mm. He's in a pod. He's in a pod. Right, £70, please. Two more to go, Joe. Oh, here we go, Jez. 31. 31. I'm, I'm down that neck of the woods. Well, you see, this this individual has not won since September 2018. Oh. Oh. Charlie Cotton. Oh, great. Yes. Lovely. Oh, this is nice. So one more to go for £50. Lovely stuff. Oh, we're going lower and lower, Jez. Number so, 25. 25, I'm 23. Gracie. Oh, Gracie, yes. He's doing a great job at the club, Jez. I believe so, yeah, the quizzes and organising mm. stuff. Yeah, that's... Uh, I tell a lie, Matt Stanley won in September last year. And Charlie won in August last year. But it doesn't matter, does it? No, absolutely not. They all contribute. What so thanks. For, all, Jez? Thank you ever so much, Joe, for for your assistance. And as I've said, if anyone wants to join, there are a few free numbers in the uh, in the lower house draw, which raises great funds going towards the juniors and the development of the club. So we're hoping to do a podcast in the next, hopefully, ten days, build up to the start of the season. So we'll uh, we'll let you know when that's going to be. Dropped in your inbox. Yeah. Bring your umbrellas. Yeah. So you're not going to start on first game? I wouldn't have thought so. I know. It is. But it'll see. It'll come round. Don't be pessimistic. This is a year of you being optimistic a lot more. Yes, it is. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know, I was thinking that when I've been... I've actually been netting recently, Jess. Right. And uh, I was thinking, yeah, yeah this year, don't let, just don't let things bother you as much. Exactly. Exactly, I'll help you. We're going to go on walks together, aren't we? Yeah, I'm really looking like forward to them, Jess. They're going to be fun. I can put, we can put, I can put your ease and you know have a look at nature. <laughs> yeah, we can. Are you a, a bird watcher, Jess? Or no, not really. No, no. A twitch, twitch. Do you like it? Um, I do like birds. Yeah. No. Can you identify them? No. In many spheres, no. See, so it's not really much point, is it? Well, no, but I can point at them and say, "Look at that bird, Jess." <laughs> I wonder what it is. <laughs> because uh, Shez and Stan are quite avid bird watchers. I know Stan is. I didn't mm -hmm. know Shez was, uh, yeah. and identifies them. Yeah, and knows. Yeah, knows them. Um, we went to see some. Peregrine falcon, falcons, right? Last week, and can I identify an owl? You you identified an owl? I can I can do? Yeah, well, they, they're obvious, aren't they? They've got a massive big hand. Is it a beak? And the noise that they make? Yeah, but I can see them. But I get mixed up with like crows and stuff. Yeah, Dogs, magpies, blackbirds, starlings. Yeah, but they're quite pretty, aren't they? You know, a wash of the sky. There's a nest at the back of in, in our uh, one of our, oh, one of our yeah. How are you, are you growing tomatoes again this year, Jess? Yeah, yeah. Do you want some? I'm not gonna steal them, but if you if you've got any going, yeah, I'll always have some. Yeah. I'll always have some toms. Very nice. 